it will start to get a little bit cooler. We got it coming. It's so we're going to be continuing to talk about throughout the week. This big cool down, but we've got a few more days to wait on it. Uh, upper 70s by Thursday, Friday, so a little less warm, but really we don't get the full benefit of that cool down until we get into this weekend, Sunday, Monday into the 60s, low 70s on Saturday. And even in the long range outlook, just wanted to show you a peek at this. The East Coast staying cooler than normal even into next week. So this cool air will have some staying power. So it all gets started with a cold front. Uh, dry air is going to be in place, and that's really going to be the culprit for us not seeing much in the way of rain with this. Notice how there's some showers along the front as this tries to get into North Carolina Friday evening, but then that rain's going to kind of shrivel up. We're not seeing much happen in the upstate, only a slight chance early Saturday as this front sweeps through really Really quick. So chances are your area probably won't even get a drop of rain out of this, but you will feel the cool weather by Saturday night. First alert radar is all clear, just in highly sensitive mode tonight. So we've got a little bit of clutter near the site, but otherwise uh, it's uh, looking good out there in the next 24 hours tonight down into the 50s across the area and next three days. Well, we've got three more warm ones until we start that cool down into this weekend. Now, of course, we're tracking the tropics. We still have a named system out there in Philippe. It's a tropical storm, which is blowing up with intensity. Just a little bit lopsided. We're not talking about a highly uh, organized tropical storm at this point. It's north of Puerto Rico, and it's going to be heading up close to Bermuda. In fact, likely affecting Bermuda as a tropical storm and then a post tropical low, but still packing some strong wind as it moves its way up toward Maine and Canada, and that would be toward this weekend. So we'll keep you posted on the effects there. As we go forward, only a slight chance of rain on Saturday. Otherwise, we're going to stay dry. We'll be breezy to start the weekend as that cool weather moves in. And then we'll be looking at those highs in the 60s Sunday, Monday, overnight lows in the 40s. So no worry about frost or freeze conditions as it looks right now. But we will be watching Sunday night closely because if the uh, temperature drops a couple more degrees, if we're looking at light winds, that could be a frost issue in the upstate. Right now, I do expect frost in the mountains by Sunday night, uh, but slight chance for some rain as that front moves through Friday night into Saturday. Of course, you can download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app, scan the code, get it for free, and this way you'll get the heads up when we've got these frost and freeze conditions coming.